subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello friends welcome to my channel engineering media you are watching engineering media if you are new to this channel please click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you never miss any new updates today we are going to discuss about tissue engineering at first what is meant by tissue engineering tissue engineering is the use of a combination of cells engineering and materials methods and suitable biochemical and physicochemical factors to improve or replace biological tissues tissue engineering involves the use of a tissue scaffold for the formation of new viable tissue for a medical purpose while it was once categorized as a subfield of biomaterials having grown in scope and importance it can be considered as a field in its own what is the need of tissue engineering tissue engineering is an important field of regenerative medicine for tissue repair after damage caused by a disease or an accident for example to offer this possibility stem cells are important tools owing to their capacity to differentiate into a large number of cells according to the stimuli provided components of tissue engineering three main components of tissue engineering a scaffold is a 3d structure that is manufactured from biodegradable biomaterials and in which cells are seeded cells are the basic constituent of a tissue by synthesizing the matrix of the tissue and growth factors are polypeptides that regulate the activities of cells applications of tissue engineering the applications of tissue engineering have been helpful in overcoming problems of any damaged tissues. Bone tissue engineering bones are composed of collagen and have the property to regenerate, repair in response to an injury. The requirement of bone graft takes place during large bone defects occurring after trauma, infection, tumor resection or skeletal abnormalities. Future scopes of tissue engineering? At present, Tissue engineering plays a relatively small role in patient treatment. Artificial skin, valves, and cartilage are examples of engineered tissues that have been approved by the FDA. However, currently, they have limited use in the humans. Supplemental bladders, small arteries, skin grafts, cartilage, and even a full trachea have been implanted in patients, but the procedures are still experimental and very costly. While more complex organ tissues like heart, lung, and liver tissue have been successfully recreated in the lab, they are a long way from being fully reproducible and ready to implant into a patient. Thus we are come to the end of this session. For more updates, kindly subscribe my channel. If you have any suggestions, regarding my channel, kindly comment in the comment section. You can also request your searching contents that I can make that in my next video.